All right, folks, welcome back to Pushing the Potters. It's episode 11. We're getting towards Christmas time, in game at least. So I'm festiving. Oh, fest, festivating? Fest. Fet, we're, we're Christmassy. We're, we're wintering. Whatever. We are putting Christmassy style stuff on the thumbnails. We've got Christmas baubles there for the Arsenal and Chelsea. It's a double header today. We've got lots to get through. Let's get into it. So let's go. Right. League table, you can see it there. We have, well, we were top. Um, that was temporary. We're now six points behind. We have got the game in hand, but obviously the closest we can do, even if we win today, is jump nowhere. We, we can just maintain our position. Worst case scenario, we could drop to six. So it really is it really is tight at this near halfway stage of the league season. So since you were with us, we've only played a couple of games. Obviously, we drew 2-2 to uh, Harry Kane FC. And then after that, we did go and beat Basel four goals to nil in the Champions League. We therefore have qualified for the knockout rounds. And we didn't disqualify. We got that draw in... Uh, well, we got the draw we wanted, really. Juventus and Benfica played out a draw on the final group day. And that gave us the top of the group position. So who have we been drawn against? We don't know. And you know what? That comes between these games. We'll be bringing it to you live. You'll hear the reaction. You'll be as disappointed as I am when we inevitably get... I mean, let's see who we could get. Uh, Shakhtar, Copenhagen, Club... In fact, I'm quite happy, to be honest. We're inevitably going to get Bayern. Or Barcelona, so that's that's who my money's on. Although, you know, Venice, Arsenal any, are, are also here, so they're probably going to get us. Uh, excuse me, can't get themselves. They're probably going to get Bayern. We followed that up with a 2 0 win over Manchester City. Some, uh, some great play again. Thomas Lamar, he's turning into a right demon for us. Fantastic stuff. And then we beat Watford in the League Cup quarter final. Two goals to one. We stole it late with a Dembele. Give it a few cigarettes and came on. He had a penalty. And you thought, this is the this is how he's going to break it. He's going to get a goal. Well, I mean, he wanted to score, I think. He took the penalty, certainly. Here he is stepping up. Pantelimon in goal. He's a giant of a man. Could he keep out Sigurdsson? Turns out he didn't need to. Sigurdsson was just going to rattle against the bar. He can't obviously hit it as it comes back. And Sigurdsson's long wait for a goal in this season goes on. We're into December. Will he ever score again? Who knows? This is the team we're going to play with today, then. It's pretty much the same team as you saw us with last time. The only difference is being we've got no left-backs available. Peter's injured. Tala's suspended. Munier's are unfit. So Kyle Walker-Peters is going to play at left-back. It's not ideal, but we haven't got anyone else. Shawcross has been returning to the side now. I just think he's got that more experience ahead on him. Uh, Yevar's performances have taken a bit of a downturn, but he's certainly a more than capable deputy in uh, Shawcross's absence, so he, he's he's definitely there, and Ruben Vetso has been okay as well. Milik, again, is, is not really scoring, he's not really doing anything for us. You can see his, just his average rating bars there, they're fairly consistent, it's just sadly that they're consistently poor. Dembele's just been a better option so far, Vlasic is having a Pretty poor time, but again, Sigurdsson's not doing anything, Nolotovic is hit and miss. So we're going to keep Vlasic out there, he needs the game time to develop, he is coming along quite nicely if we take a quick look at him there. It's all the green arrows, it's going the way we want. It's green arrows up, and we're on the way up. Right, so it's Chelsea today, we're going to play on the home system. Um, it will be Arsenal away in the second half of this, this episode, uh, this festive themed episode. It's a Christmas cracker. Apparently, so let's just get through these. Yeah, we go and let's see what we can do today. Is it snowing? It's it's not snowing. What I am going to do is I am going to turn on some goal replays, and we're going to go for the close cam. It's new. I've not really. I don't really play with replays. I think one viewing of a goal is enough. I want to see it again. I'll uh, I'll take a look after the event, but I think it's it's for for the save. I think it's good to see some replays from different angles. You get to enjoy some of the goals from from further out. As uh, Chelsea had a chance there, Pedro uh, was through, but Jack Butland made the save. It's interesting that Jack Butland hasn't actually been targeted 
seemingly by any clubs. No one's no one's coming for any chances. So I thought Dembele was breaking through there. Apparently not well enough because he got in behind and was about to cross the ball. But FM deems that not to be a, a worthy of note. For a, that's Kurt Zuma getting a card there. Obviously Stoke player in real life at the moment, at least on loan. So that's good news for the Potters. Um, I'm feeling time here, to be honest, because apart from the fact that Christmas is coming, there's not much to enjoy. That's that's a pretty dire first half, to be honest. So we'll we'll try and we'll try. Well, I don't really know what to say. Because, to be honest, we're on our most attacking system. We've certainly been the better team there. You'd have to say certainly better than we were against Spurs, where we got our, our pants pulled down and uh, Harry Kane slapped our backsides. But all in all. If we end up with the same outcome today, that, that won't be too bad. Chelsea are a good side. You can see on the left-hand side of the screen, they're, they're in sixth position. So they're they're chasing down the top top sides. As I said, it's it's very tight. We are going to mix these up. We're going to mix these ones up. We're conscious as well that we are going to uh, have to play Arsenal uh, in the next game. Just a few days away. Thomas Lamar's been pretty good on free kicks. It's deflecting off the post. How unfortunate. I thought for a minute he was going to score another free kick. He scored one for us at Manchester City, and I thought he was going to get another one. Obviously, Sigurds are not on the pitch to take free kicks. Wouldn't have mattered anyway. He's he's been he's been beyond. He's been one of the worst second season players in my memory uh, on my uh, long FM Championship Manager days. I'm dissing him. I'm hoping it's working. I'm I'm shouting at him really. I want him to to go out there and win us the game. It's not happened. It's going to be a nil-nil draw. It's a great way to start Christmas. It's like opening the presents and finding it's socks, isn't it? You might like socks. I I mean, I wear socks. N not all the time. I'm, I'm wearing them now. They're not Christmas-themed. Nor are they Chelsea-themed. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's, uh, let's tell the boys they're unlucky. Two of them agreed. That's better than none. So we missed a chance to win there. Great stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to let this broom continue... As we uh, as we go, we'll give them a rest. We don't really need to to be in for much training with Arsenal just two days away. We'll get on a get on a uh, National Express down to London shortly. We do things on the cheap at Stoke. We, we we're not in for for flashy cars and and planes down to to various stadiums. We uh, we simply just go for the the no frills. In fairness, we probably thumb a lift. You know, get out there on the M6 and and get yourself down to London in any way. Um, if anyone's got a car, great. I'm sure. I think. I think. I think. Dembele's got a car. I might see if I can share with him. Right here we go. Champions League draw. The first knockout round. Let's see what we've got. So we're in, we're top seed. Drink it in, boys. Drink it in, and girls. Right teams we want. Shakhtar, Copenhagen. Copenhagen would be the ones, wouldn't it? And Bruges. Those are, those are the two plum ties. Celtic, I suppose, as well. But other than that. We don't want Bayern. We do not want Barcelona. We don't want Leverkusen, really. And given the other teams on offer, we don't really want Benfica either. So let's see what we got. So this this is a one to avoid. That's okay. This is we wouldn't mind this. Okay, Real. We don't want this one. Thank the Lord. Okay, I think we're going to get an okay one then. We are going to get. It's, it's Celtic or Benfica now. No disrespect to Celtic, but I'd certainly prefer to... to well, we, in fact, we know we can't play some Benfica because we played them in the group stage, so it is going to be Celtic and Benfica get Paris. So that's good news. Mr Dembele will go back to uh, back to Celtic Park. Um, how is the Celtic team at these days? Let's have a look at it. Uh, they, they, they've taken Manier and they've decided he should play in goal. Fair play to them. Um, the big squad... We see no reserves, apparently. So, other than Tom Cleverley. You can see it, can't you? You can see that. Tom Cleverley up in Scotland. Other than that, it's no real surprise. It's nothing nothing, nothing really has changed. They've obviously lost a couple of players to us, you know, yeah, and Mr Dembele. But other than that, there's no real no real surprises there. Okay. You're going to see a few. This is how I generally do the FM. There's a scout, uh, excuse me, a play recruitment summary coming through. Disregard it. I mean, he's suggesting here Jack Grealish, Carlos Peña, Trigueros, Papadopoulos. I mean, it's a test of pronunciation more than anything else sometimes. Okay, a uh, bit of a chat here. Uh, I'm not interested in Arsenal. Thing. I mean, they're, they're looking at sacking him after two. After he won the Premier League twice and is now mid-table. 
I mean, if they're going to sack him now, why have they not done so previously? I'm not going to discuss it. We can beat Arsenal away. I don't think we... Oh, that's nice of him. He can't wait to beat me. He absolutely cannot wait. It's going to make his Christmas. Apparently, well, something should, shouldn't it? Because he, he hasn't had the results that he's been looking for. Okay, uh, you're seeing uh, what's flashing by in the background. Um, I'm glad I turned on those replays, by the way, for that Chelsea game, because obviously doing so meant we, we secured a nil-nil. If this is nil-nil as well, then what you know for the future, if, if you need a nil-nil and you don't want to concede, maybe a second leg or uh, you're just hoping for penalties or something like that, just turn on your replays. It guarantees a nil-nil. It's the opposite of overload. Right, so we can restore Tellers to the to the field, and we'll put Walker Peters on the bench. Otherwise, the reserves are going to stay the same. I'm happy with the first team. We're going to play on the counter system, and hope we can do it. I might take I might take Anortovic into this one. I think he's obviously got more games for Stoke under his belt. He's got more experience. Maybe we'll we'll need that this kind of fixture. Right, here we go at the Emirates. Then, uh, not a happy hunting ground for Stoke real life or otherwise the media officer there just wanted to keep asking me the same question three times it's very infuriating of him but let's go okay so in Bula Shawcross now Brooks Tyler's we'll pretend this is actually going somewhere Lemar Berardi him disappears and a corner inside three minutes headed away though Dembele he's got a, he can run and he launches it out to Domenico Berardi. That's vision and a half. And Berardi rattles it into the side netting. It would have been, indeed, it would, as the commentary said there, it would have been an outstanding goal. Certainly a great counter, and that's what we're looking for today. Wasn't to be. Petr Cech will take this goal kick. We're just inside the first 50 minutes. Already more action than the Chelsea game. Or so it would appear. Um, maybe I need to turn highlights off and on, and that'll get us the nil-nil. Alexis crosses. It's headed away, but Ozil... Uh, back to Bellerin, Joel Campbell and Giroud off the post. It's crossing the line. No, it's cleared away. We're living dangerously. Maybe maybe Arsenal are just having uh, one of those the ball just won't go in seasons. We've had them. We've all had them. Um, I just hope he continues for them today. Bellerin picks up a yellow card. It's over exuberance from the, well, no longer youngster, I suppose. And Alex Tellers joins him in the book. Right, Monreal... Uh, throws into Ozil, gets it back. Working away there. Adrienne, I don't know who that is, to be honest. Apologies, Adrienne fans. Or uh, Trippier just nicks the ball off Sanchez there. Berardi, can he do anything? Lamar into Dembele, skips past his man. He's got he's got that turn of pace. He's got that yard where he can just make things happen. He probably should have had a better finish, but to create that move or to create that opportunity out of very little is is encouraging to say the least. Tell us now, nothing doing. Right, so half an hour played. We've been got the snow's coming down. The game knows it's Christmas. I can hear sleigh bells. Is Berardi? He has a shot. Nowhere, nowhere really near. Oh, you can see the snow on screen. Oh, we, we, after this game, we'll pop out to to Bond Street to uh, Piccadilly, and we'll we'll do a bit of shopping. Pop into Harrods. Other department stores available. In Bully, can strike them, can't he? I wish he crossed it though, to be honest. He had the angle on a shot, I thought, and then he took it further wide and ended up pretty much with an impossible angle, especially against Petr Cech. Still, Kajani is going to get booked, so that's something, and we'll go into half time hopefully with a nil nil. I'm glad I put these replays on, I really am. I'm really showing off the close angle. Let's, I'm going to say they have been unlucky so far. Um, apparently, Joe Allen, that bores Joe Allen to tears, you know. As he, as, you know, if you told you're unlucky. I don't want to hear this anymore. I've been unlucky all my life. Hmm. Okay, Adrienne and Mustafi Koscielny and disappears. So the snow continues to fall. Giroud loses out to Brooks, who back to Shawcross, launches it up to Anortovic, Imbula, Dembele. He strides forward again. He, he's so good at transitioning the ball. That's not a bad effort, you know. Um, Czech was worried. He, he launched himself into the air. Whether it was a bit of a camera... I would say camera save because he didn't actually save the ball, but he certainly he certainly got himself up there. What shall we do then? Lamar's a game changer. I'm, I'm begrudging. I'm irked to, to take him off, but I am going to take him off. I'm going to bring on Sigurdsson. Obviously, the former Tottenham man. Maybe he's just got the edge on Arsenal here to 
and he is good on free kicks, isn't he? So if we do get an opportunity on free kick, maybe he's the man to do it. Dembele picks up a knot. That's a concern. So we're going to get Milik on. Let's just see there. Potential head injury. Clash of heads, hopefully nothing more. If he's not had to come off a uh, gashed head, maybe. He'd be wearing a bandage, Terry Butcher. Let's get um, Ayer on then. We don't want Joe Allen to be sent off, of course. Um, while, that's, while that's going on, the gameplay rages on as the snow falls down. Pitch looking in pretty good condition, despite that. So good. And inside Trippier. It's a good save. It's not the man you want it to fall to, though, is it, Trippier? I mean, Ruben Vetso at right back. We're, we're, we're cooking on gas. Anyway, Berardi will swing that corner a bit. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Arnautovic deflecting out for a corner. That We're putting on some pressure in the last five. Five? The games finish in 87 minutes, do they? Good one. Good one. So it's going to be... Excuse for the noise there. I don't know what that was. Uh... He, yeah, the game's, the game's running its course. If it's going to be a goal... Oh, sorry, if either side's going to win, it's going to be a late goal. That probably neither side deserves. I think if anyone's edged this one, it's going to have been us. Um, Arsenal just don't seem to be as fluent as they, as they probably should be for Premier League champions, or double Premier League champions, you'd, you'd say as well. Back-to-back -back Premier League champions. I, thought, I worried for a minute there. I thought Butland was coming and wasn't getting anywhere near it, but that should be game. It's going to be It's going to be nil-nil. No replays. No goals. I think that's odd, isn't it? You know, two nil nils in the in a row. So good clean sheets. Um, not what I expected when I when I earmarked uh, a Chelsea and Arsenal double header, but it is what we have. Um, it does mean, of course, we continue unbeaten. We haven't lost in the Premier League since the two one defeat to Southampton, so that's good news. It is coming up to Christmas. That snow is going to keep falling. It's breezy, breezy in Sunderland. No, well, breezy at home anyway. We're playing at home, of course. But maybe we'll be buried under snow. Get the orange ball out. Okay, so we'll be back probably for New Year's time, I think. As I say, these games, plenty of them, but not really any interest. So I picked the, the two Stormers, as, as indeed Sky probably would have done, or BT. And they turned out to be nil-nil. So I've got ex exactly the same success rate there as the Sky selectors. Right, so maybe I should I should pick a, a lesser side. Uh, apologies if uh, I do pick your side and you deem that to be a lesser side. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to come back for this whole game. It's away from home, Hull and bottom, so we might score a goal. But what that allows me to do is to, to obviously get through this busy period. And also, if it is that we're doing transfers, that's probably going to be more towards that, that point because we'll have players maybe going out, maybe Gilfie will go out and we'll invest the money that we get for him back into the squad. We'll also see where we are after the League Cup semi-final first leg against our old friends Harry Kane FC. And then we'll play uh, Hull City, as I say. So you'll, I'll give you a decent update on that. It'll be a few games that we can go through. Um, I'll tell you about how good the Christmas dinner was. And, uh, and yeah, you can uh, hopefully have had plenty of time to get over your New Year's hangover. Right, well, what I'll do for now then. Yep, thanks very much for watching today. Um, do follow me on Twitter at Knock It Wide. Please do like the video if you've enjoyed and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.